Uh, Jack, we have several um, uh, very specific questions sent from uh, our group mothers. Mm -hmm. And for example, one of them, uh, she was strongly advised to stop breastfeeding because she was diagnosed with deep vein thrombosis and pulmonary embolism. And uh, she was told that, that anticoagulant medication therapies, they are not compatible, especially the Xarelto uh, drug. Yeah. Do you agree with this? No. First okay. of all, the pulmonary, uh, the, the deep vein thrombosis and pulmonary embolus is not a reason to stop breastfeeding. Uh, and I would say that, uh, yes, there are questions about this particular drug uh, that may not be ideal for breastfeeding mothers. But again, uh, it depends. If this is just a short-term treatment, I would say it's okay for breastfeeding. But there are other treatments we've used for years and years and years. So for example, heparin, I know it hurts because you inject it, but it's perfectly safe for breastfeeding. And warfarin, which we've used for years and years and years, is also safe for the breastfeeding baby. So <clears throat> why use this particular drug? I'll tell you why you use that particular drug, because the company that makes it marketing. tells the doctors, yes, it's all got to do with marketing. So, you know, I mean, warfarin, it's cheap, it's effective, it, uh, you, it, it works. Okay, so you need to have, make sure that your blood is, you, the, the, the level, not the level, but your uh, prothrombin time is not too prolonged, but it's, it's, it's not that big a deal. You have a test done and it's, you know, you watch every few weeks, you do this test and if it's not uh, uh, too long, then you're fine. It's so no problem. I, if it were me, I would, I would do the heparin. I know it's an injection, it hurts, but it's safe. And I would do the, uh, the warfarin and not use these brand new drugs, which are very expensive, by the way, uh, compared to warfarin and heparin. I think that uh, there are hardly any drugs that require a mother to stop breastfeeding. There are some, but in many cases, you can find an alternative drug that is okay for breastfeeding. 